It's a fire. It's a fire outside. We need to get all the patients and we need to take them to safety. Come okay. on. Okay. okay. Jaquela, can you pull the fire alarm first because we need to get the fire extinguisher? Real workplace emergency scenarios. Let's take him out. All right, let's get all our doors closed. Taught in the health lab of Carver High School's Academy of Health Sciences. All right, everyone, it looks like Harrison was able to get the fire out. It was just a small fire in a trash can. I think someone improperly disposed of a cigarette in a trash can. Not good. Good job, Harrison. You used pass on the fire extinguisher. Pull, aim, squeeze, sweep. We got that small fire out. Got the closest patient away from it. Now everyone's safe, so we'll just have to have some cleanups. You're looking at future healthcare professionals who are serious about their future and are eager to get to class every day to get access to early and important knowledge. When I go into the medical field, I want to be a doctor. All my life, uh, I've known that I wanted to be in the medical field, but I feel like I only knew like basic surface level knowledge. And I feel like after being in this class, I've learned more about it and seen more about what the career holds for me so that I could be more prepared. I either tend to take paramedic classes or either get into the field of forensics. I just wanted to get into a field that overall was there to help people, not just really looking for the money. I want to go into sports med. I knew I always knew I wanted to like be a nurse, but I didn't want to work in like the hospital setting. So like plus things, you know, being a nurse and then I like sports. So you know, you put it together, sports medicine. I want to pursue a career in um, neuropsychology. So I like um, healthcare and I like um, psychology. All of these scholars have big dreams and this academy has been charged with helping them reach their goals. All students go through three rigorous courses once they enroll in the Academy of Health Sciences. The first course is the Foundation of Health Sciences. We're doing credentialing with our second and third level classes. Our other two classes are therapeutic services and human body structures and functions. Carver offers certifications as community and mental health workers. The students are required to pass modules and successfully complete lab work through Jefferson State Community College in order to become certified. We also just got HOSA going again. So that is an important um, organization that the State Department of Education wants health science programs to have up and running. So that is HOSA Future Health Professionals. When the students are not in the lab doing blood pressure checks or learning CPR, they are on field trips. They are taking advantage of visits to professional health labs or various colleges. Even though health science isn't my field that I want to go in, the hands-on learning experience is without a doubt so beneficial. A lot of it is just opening your mind to a lot of new things. We did the STAR program with um, AIDS and HIV, and we seen we went in a lot of labs. And no, we weren't around live cells, but we were seeing shown cells that were like 100 years old, and we heard like stories of the people on how like they were treated, and it was like, you know, eye-opening. We go to the simulation center at UAB. We've been to the simulation center at Children's in the past. We will probably do some one-on-one -on -one job shadowing again with Christ Health. External partnerships are so critical when it comes to the success of all of Birmingham City Schools Academies. Both Crystal Stevens and Marshall Kelly Sutton work in different capacities at UAB, but they serve together on Carver's Academy's advisory board. What we're tasked with as a community is making sure that we can, one, support them and encourage them along their journey, but also to show them a side of what's to come. I think that the students at Carver have done a phenomenal job in the maybe two or three short years that I've been here, seeing some of them matriculate, have graduated now. I started working with Carver when I was on the board in 2013. And I think I'm coming full circle. I, I never thought I would do this job, but I have a passion for working with students and I have a passion for connecting them to the to medically related fields this year. And, and my goal is to take the program to another level. It's fine that they see all medical related careers, but I do find that sometimes our students come to the table and they're missing those soft skills or the power skills. So we will be uh, introducing a little more professional development. Building leaders who will one day impact the world. I'm Fred Davenport, BCS Media.